When I wake up, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. When I go out, yeah I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who goes along with you. If I get drunk, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who gets drunk next to you. It's like I get off and I come and sleep in a bed for a night or two with my boyfriend. <laughs> you do you do the, all the things you don't do with your main partner with your boyfriend, huh? Right, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like I'm living I'm having an affair with you. Well, like now I have to go back to my other life and everyone's gonna know that I was out having this affair with you. <laughs> it's written all over my face. I'm I am so the other sleepy. man. You're the other man to my trail. And, and there's, 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 <laughs> there's the other one sleeping <laughs> the entire way. Oh. Oh. Well, I don't know how people have time for trail romances. My romance is the trail. <laughs> and if I heave up, yeah, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who's heavering to you. But I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 Good morning miles and welcome to day 53. I'm Sunshine. And I'm Captain and we're still walking. And we're still talking. Today, guys, is a super exciting day. I feel like I should have glitter on. We're hitting 500 miles. Ah, we're going to hit 500 miles. We're going to Grayston Highlands. We're going to see the ponies. Um, and who knows what else magic is gonna happen today. We're gonna try and go, our goal is 20 miles, but could possibly be 24. Um, we'll see how we're feeling. We stayed up a little late last night. We're a little tired, but we're, it's like such an amazing day. Like how can you possibly be tired? And look what I'm wearing today, you guys, since I had access to it, my gold skirt to celebrate the day. Woohoo! So it is 63 degrees. Fahrenheit this morning, 16 Celsius. We have a give and take a 1,500 feet climb that's about 3.8 miles to the top. Um, I'm already winded. <laughs> um, in celebration, we are into the month of June, in celebration of Pride Month for our friends and family who are part of the Rainbow community. We love you guys. I'm sporting my rainbow headband for you today. Um, yeah, let's have a great day. When I'm lonely, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's lonely without you. And when I'm dreaming, well, I know I'm gonna dream, I'm gonna dream about the time. So when we're I'm at a property line here, you can see the barbed wire. And so they've made this little I guess so we don't have to climb over the barbed wire and also so they, if there are any animals or livestock in here, they don't get out because I think it's a little complicated for them to go around this. It's kind of fun. Shakes up the big. Fit and turn around in that space. Probably, that's probably what it is. I love that the property owners, I mean, I'm assuming they're receptive to this. Maybe they had no choice on the matter. I don't know but they have hikers coming through their property and they don't seem to be upset about it. On the Camino, it was actually a little bit different. Um, and I understand why, because you're going through more populated areas and a lot of farmland. And so camping, we probably saw maybe five people the whole time that were sleeping in tents. And, it, and they said it was really, really complicated because there's so much farmland that the farmers don't want you to pitch their tent on their on their cornfield or whatever, and then poop there, which makes sense. But I feel very, I feel very welcomed on these properties as a through hiker. No one has ever kind of looked at us cross-eyed or given us a hard time or anything. Hi 
baby. So these are the first cows we've actually gotten this close to on the trail. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Hi, you're super cute. Hi. I have more pepperoni, by the way. So we are stopping to take a little snack break. We have Triscuits, pepperoni, and cheese. You know I'm a cheese snob. It's not French cheese. I think it's like one step above Cracker Barrel, but it's gonna have to do. The wonders <laughs> you get on snack packing days. It's true. I'm so grateful to actually have, and a root beer, um, to have something different on a snack packing day. You're so right. Okay, so guys, I wanna share something with you. I shared in our, one of our Los Angeles vlogs about what I was doing with my feet um, because my Achilles were hurting me. And I just want to recap it here because I know not everyone watched that vlog. As, and I know a lot of you want to know what's going on, especially since you probably saw the vlog a couple days ago where I was just crying because my Achilles hurt so bad. They are feeling a lot better today. For the first time, they feel a little bit better today. And so while I was in Los Angeles, even before, I did PT, Epsom salt soaks, um, cold compression, elevation, acupuncture, acupressure, reflexology, and stretch lab. So pretty much everything. I think, I think is that everything I yeah, did? Yeah, I think you did absolutely everything oh, you Oh, and I did needling. Could. I did needling also. Um, the only thing that really gave me, oh, and I changed my shoes. The only thing that really gave me relief, just even mild relief, which wasn't much, and I even had 17 days of rest, actually 20, was new shoes and um, the stretch lab. I guess their franchise all over the place really helped a lot. Then I got back on the trail and they really started hurting again. And even that one day was even worse than I've ever felt it before. And he was chatting with me saying, you know, the way you're walking doesn't look right. And so I videoed myself and watched how I was walking. And what I was doing was I was, folk, I was putting all my muscle in my calves, which was what was bringing me up my, hill, up my hills. And I wasn't putting much pressure on my thighs or my butt. As soon as I started doing that, using more thighs and more butt, and I have to focus on it because it's not my natural walk. I focus on that going up the hill. I've, got, I've gotten so much relief. It's unbelievable. And then the cold compression um, at night, the last couple nights has been really, it's been accessible because we've been staying with Will. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do that. And that's really helped tremendously. So I'll keep you up to date, but I just wanted to give you an idea of everything I've done and what worked. And I don't think there was anything that didn't work. It just worked to varying degrees. To varying degrees. Sir, mm. would you like? I tried to see a podiatrist, but they're like eight months booked out, so. A gourmet snack. Wow. I there feel like go. I'm eating Lunchables. Lunchables. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. It's, it's my version of Lunchables. You're right. The inexpensive version. <laughs> Without all the plastic around it. All right. So one other thing I wanted to share with you guys is that um, we've been slack packing I think I totaled up last night. Out of 53 days on the trail, we slack pack. I think it was eight. Um, I'm not ashamed of that. I know some people will be like, oh, slack packing. We're not slack packing the whole trail. We have no desire to slack pack the whole trail. We have no desire to sleep in hostels or hotels the whole trail. Um, there's actually really a whole, people do it and that's okay. But since we've done both and most of the time we're sleeping on the trail and not slack packing, we get more out of that. It's a richer experience for both of us. Um, even if it's hard as hell. <laughs> So there's no shame in slack packing. And I just want to say that it's been really great to be able to get off um, slack for a couple days. It, that's also created some relief on my legs, but also to see Will. Um, it is, I'm out here with Largo, so I'm not lonely, but boy, do I miss Will a ton, a ton. He does all the adventures with us. And this is the first time I'm doing it without him. And I need to be able to get off the trail from time to time and just, snuggle with him and be in a space with him and I encourage anyone else who's hiking if they can get their partner even if their partner has to drive 12 hours to spend one night with them it is it is a great like on the weekends when they're not working or something it's a great recharge it makes a huge 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 difference in the experience and then you get to slack pack for a day and give your body a break so there's no shame in it guys if you want to slack pack a couple days go for it um, and see those loved ones get people to meet you on the trail um, most people you love would be really, you'd be surprised at how far they would drive to see you. Will has driven 12 hours to see us for like three, yeah. more than once. Um, and this man works seven days a week. So you can imagine how hard that is. He will work 
like seven to seven and then drive from seven to midnight, sleep in the car and then get up, work again and then drive another five hours so that he can see us. So I, I miss him. I love him. I love you, Will. Um, and thank you for being part of this journey with us. Do you miss dad? Do you miss daddy? Nope. <laughs> That's Largo's few words there. And I know that was kind of long winded, but I know there's so like, oh, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. And you have to look out for your body as well as your mental, physical, emotional, um, romantic needs. Um, but anyway. And when I come home, when I come home, yes, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who comes back home with you. I'm going to be the man who's coming home. Wow, this is no joke up here, huh? No kidding. Oh. This is absolutely awful. <laughs> I am freezing right now. Are you? Oh, okay, let's walk faster. And from one moment to the next, the ground and what you see on the ground can change drastically. I feel like there's three deep gaps in every state. <laughs> I don't know why when I'm particularly drawn to these these trail ma um, application trail wood labels. They're so charming and just feel very authentic. Look how green it is. Oh my gosh. This is one of the first times I feel like it's really translated on the video to how green it is. It, it's so green. I mean, I could almost be in Ireland right now, guys. Oh my gosh. Drinking a Guinness. Hanging out at the pub. <laughs> Having some stew. Wow. So if I were a fairy, this is the fairy house I would live in. Look at it. I'm not going too far in. Last night, Captain and I watched the creepiest movie. The preview didn't look like it was gonna be that creepy, but it was about a serial killer. And he was just like, oh gosh. Well, let's just say people fell for his charm and he wasn't so charming. And he was killing people and putting their heads in the refrigerator. And then I thought, oh, I'm so glad I'm not watching this out in my tent. <laughs> Even though I don't, I never watch movies in my tent. I'm so tired by the time we go to bed, there's just um, no, and bandwidth and, and battery life and all that kind of stuff. And, and frankly, the last thing I want to do out here is watch a movie. Like, I just want to reflect on the day and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Talk to Captain, talk with people at the shelter. I, I cannot get over how gorgeous this is today. Grayson Highlands, guys. It's, I don't know if we get to the 500 miles or the Highlands first. Well, it'll be a surprise for both of us. So I won't be the first one to tell you this, that hiking this is the easy part. Slack packing, super easy. Sleeping in a bed, easy. Eating regular food, easy. The hard part is doing it day after day sleeping in the wilderness, carrying your food, going without showers, carrying your heavy pack every day. Um, that's where it gets really, really hard. And so if you're just slack packing every day or platinum blazing, you can be a little more flexible on your food because you can get a proper meal at night. You know, you could cook yourself a piece of steak or have a burger or something like that. But if you're sleeping out here and carrying your heavy pack every day, you really have to be very, very conscious of what you're eating. Um, and then for me, the food aspect um, is a whole mental thing as well. Like I, food is my love language and I, it makes me happy. And it's, it's, it's unbelievable that I'm not like 800 pounds, but I do eat very, very healthy and off trail, I'm a vegetarian, I'll eat some fish, but I'm a vegetarian. And when I get back off trail, I will likely go vegan since we're gonna be in the US for another six months after that. And vegan, everything is so accessible in this country. Um, so for me, it's, it's a physical and a mental aspect of the trail and being able to make my way to Katata and I have to folk, I have to really be more conscious about the food. Much rockier than I actually thought it was gonna be. Um, I don't know, I'm still, we're still shooting for 24. 
Captain's still like, we're gonna make 24, but if it's like this the rest of the way, yeeks. Yeeks, yeeks. Five hundred miles, miles and I would walk five hundred more and five hundred more and five hundred more and <laughs> Alright guys, here we go. We made it to five hundred. Guys, that's a bowl over there. Look at that. Can you see it? Just sitting there in the middle of nowhere. It's wild. These kind of remind me of my hair. Completely saturated with color. I love them with the raindrops on them too. I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more. It's another bowl. I don't think they're that interested in people, but I still don't want to get too close. He looks happy. Those are some mighty big horns you have, Mr. Bull. Okay, a couple funny things today. We were just at a shelter. Um, I was putting my pants on. No, I'm not walking around with no pants. I had shorts on, I was getting cold. And this woman wanted to take a picture of all of us together. And the one guy says, I don't know, how do I look? And she's like, are you kidding? <laughs> look at all of us. And I just, I had to step up and say, well, I did get a shower this morning, so I think I might probably, I'm, I might look the best. <laughs> um, anyway, I thought that was really funny that a hiker was worried about the way he looked out here because we all look like crap. And then we just met these people on the mountain and they asked us if we had seen any ponies yet. And we said, no. And I said to Captain, oh no, what if they've hiked all the way up here and they didn't see any ponies and weren't gonna see any going down. And he says to me, did you see their shoes? <laughs> They were so clean. They haven't hiked that far. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you guys find that funny, but it's funny because you, you start to look at people and like someone walked by me on the trail the other day. I think it was a big hump and she smelled so nice. I was like, oh my gosh, I remember when I used to smell nice like that. She smelled like vanilla bean or something. It was wonderful. And I'm like, I'll smell like that again someday. So when walking in rainy kind of atmospheres, we come across a few slightly disturbing things. What? How would you feel about walking across that? That's not where the trail goes. No, but it looks like it was. There's a path going down. Mm. I'm glad this is the right way because that would definitely not be fun. We would do it. We're determined to stay on the trail, no matter what it takes. No matter what. We are officially at Grayson Highland State Park. Come on, ponies. I wonder where we are. Does it say where you are on the map? Not really. See that little person walking up at the top, the headless person? Hey, that's us. Do you think that's us right there? We have no heads. <laughs> so this is pony land. So we're not supposed to, they kick and they bite and don't feed them or don't pet them and they eat negative vegetation. That's interesting. Oh, they're so cute. I can't wait to see them. Oh my gosh, look at the babies. They're so cute. They almost look like statues. They're not moving at all. It's funny how they're all facing the same direction there. Well, this is not a bad life out here. I think this one's sleeping with its eyes open. <laughs> Look how close it is. 
I just want to snuggle it. I know we can't touch it. I'm not going to touch it. Oh my gosh. Hi, cutie. Oh my gosh. I think I'm a horse whisperer. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. Peeing for me. <laughs> Showing off. You're a big boy. Good job. Mommy, look what he did. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is so cool. It's interesting how the mom is just chill. That's how I am when I'm eating. When you guys were little, someone could have stole you. I would have just kept eating. <laughs> say we pitch the tent we don't have. <laughs> the slide packing tent. We can make a tent out of our coats. <laughs> right? I think that was the maternity ward back there and then this is looks like the dads and the older kids hanging out over here. That was super cool. Whoa. Super cool. Trails are marked really well here in the park which is a good thing because there's trails going everywhere and it would be so confusing otherwise. So good job in the park. We have made the decision to go for the 24 miles today. We will be hiking probably the last hour in the dark, which you all know I don't like because I'm scared of the dark. However, I'm gonna fight through those fears. There's nothing out here to be scared of except for that horror movie I watched last night about the serial killer, but oh well. <laughs> so I don't know what we're gonna film between now and then because we're gonna crank it, um, but I'll try and bring it out a little bit just to kind of give you a status update. But I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more to be the man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at Since we started this hike, Daylight has just been really throwing me off lately. We started it back in May when it would get dark at say 5 or, or 6 p.m. And now it's 7 o'clock and it's basically light out. There is the feeling that it's around 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And this is just really throwing me off, but it allows us to go a lot further. So honestly, I'm really happy for it. And to get into a bit more of the nitty gritty official stuff, we just hit 600 or no, 500 miles today. And it was about maybe a week, week and a few days ago, we hit 400 miles. And so now the goal is to be hitting 100 miles every week. Now that includes doing more one day, doing less another, but that's the goal and I think it's really achievable. And we're passing so many campsites right now that just look amazing. I mean, the view alone is absolutely gorgeous. Hey. We need this open. Oh, gosh. 24 miles, huh? Yeah, and 13 hours, I think it took us. Um, you brought Sentry? I did, watch out, don't Hi, Sentry. <laughs> How'd you do? Tired. Yeah. <laughs> Hi Sentry. Hi Kitty. It is the end of day 53 and we are in bed. Uh, it's, it's 1130 at night. We hiked today from 830 till 930 and then we'll, that 13 hours, not just an hour, and then Will picked us up. <sighs> and then we drove another half an hour back here. Oh. Which was actually surprisingly <gasps> faster than how it how long it took to get us to the trail right? this morning. And we hiked 24... 24 miles! 24.1 miles. I realized we were slacking, but I think if we had our packs on, it probably would have been around 21 It's still miles. also a great achievement because yeah. our previous record was slacking as well for 21. Yeah, so we... 21.9, I think. So we are... We're badass. Ooh. We're tired, badass. And now we're going to bed. <laughs> wait, wait, okay, so where do we go from today? We went from... Route 58. 
to State Route 63. Um, Through the Grayson Highlands are, and amazing views. Yeah, today was awesome. I'm sorry I sound drunk. I'm not. I'm so tired. The last three nights we've only gotten about six hours sleep. So tonight I think we're going to get about seven, which is exciting. Um, What was the best part of your day? I know what the best part of your day was. Uh, <sighs> Um, well, right now I'm thinking going to sleep is the best part. But um, yeah, I would say honestly the uh, the Grayson Highlands and seeing the 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 ponies. the ponies was nice. Yeah. You guys, the babies! It's baby season. That was the coolest, coolest thing ever. We just stood there for like a half an hour, just staring at them, like not even moving, like we were statues in their land. And I also another great thing about today was that um, we did 500 miles. Yeah. We hit the 500 mile mark and we did our biggest day yet 24.1 and we're still alive so i think overall it was a really really great day um did you have a worse day no worse not day? really i mean i did fall at the end of today you did and you have a little mark right there on your nose yeah. right but other than that not really oh <laughs> so sorry that every time we've been closing this out lately we've been yawning what bore i hope you enjoyed the video at least during the day and we're not so boring here at night i don't have a worse either no no. Day was I pretty good. I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 1,500 more. Just to... <laughs> Good night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm better on the other side so I don't bang your arm. You ready? Day 15. What day is it? 53. Huh. Are you ready? Yep. This is my party skirt. It will not be coming in my pack. I'll leave it with Will. Weekends on the trail are the best, you guys. No, it's too early. I got a feeling. Go ahead. Are you still being serious? Okay. So, a guy at the shelter just said that it's going to be a rocky hike all the way up to Grayson Highlands. Well, that one's definitely a boy. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs>